for a horizontal line like this, we can say that the values of x are increasing because the line is moving sideways. But the value of y stays the same. There is no change in the value of y. Like you can see that over here, the x is increasing from this is negative 3 and this is 4. So the coordinate of this point is negative 3 and what is the y coordinate? It's 2. So negative 3 comma 2 and over here the coordinates of this point is 4 comma 2. So on any point on this line segment, the x values will be increasing or changing but the y value will always stay as 2. Correct? So, because there is no change in the y value, so the rise value is 0. So, the slope m, which is actually given by the formula of rise over run, rise is 0. There is no change in the values of y and there will be some value of run. So, 0 divided by any value gives you 0. So, always remember for the horizontal line, the slope is always 0. All right? So, the horizontal line has the slope of 0. What about the vertical line? For the vertical line, of course, there is some increase in the value of y or you can say decrease in the y value. But what about run? Is the x value changing anywhere? No, x value stays the same. So if this is 0 and of course this is 2. So on every point on this line, the x value remains to be 2. It does not change. That means the run is not changing. So the, the slope m, which is rise over run, there will be some rise, okay? like some positive or negative depending on y is increasing or decreasing but run is zero now any fraction with the denominator zero is not defined so the vertical line always have the slope of not defined or you can say that they have undefined slope so horizontal lines have the slope of zero always because there is no rise but vertical lines have undefined slope because there is no run that's all bye bye